to illustrate the differences between using QGIS and GRASS, I'm actually going to get you to do one, one, uh, one thing in GRASS. So when we open it up, you're going to be presented with this uh, opening screen for, for it, and we're going to actually browse for the directory. Okay, and for me, it is under users. QGIS sample data, and then we will go to grass data. Sorry, grass data, Alaska, and demo, and then we will enter grass. Um, I f have to do one thing quickly. I need to close the grass map set that I have currently open in QGIS before I can do that because it'll only allow one connection at a time. Okay, so now I'm in. Now, in Grass, we've got a few different windows going on here. Okay, so I'm going to shrink the terminal down. Let's stick him in the corner. The map display we will bring over there. Okay. Now right off the bat you notice it takes a little longer to actually set up even the uh, display. So what we're going to do is we're going to begin just working with a raster. I'll show you this way. If we go down in here and, and click, the module I want to use is called r.walk. So we're going to do that by running the GUI. Okay. I'll stretch that out. Now these are all the different things that we can do. We're going to use the Knight's Move. Okay, it's more accurate the elevation map that we're going to use is that I've actually forgotten that we need to create the friction map and so we're going to do another one which is our dot slope Oh, it's R dot slope aspect. Okay. So the raster elevation is G topo. The output slope name will be G topo slope. And the aspect, G topo aspect. And we'll check settings. Format for reporting the slope. Degrees is fine. We've got lots of advanced stuff we can worry about too, but we're not going to worry about that. And then we'll just run it. Now, you'll see it's running, but what I want to point out is this down here is the actual command that you would use down here in the command line box to perform this. All of these options that we can fill in, you can do on the command line. Okay, the GUI is quite a bit easier if you're doing single steps like this. So that's done now. All done. We'll click click close. And now, when we want our friction cost, what we'll do is we will load the slope. All right. We also are going to need a starting point, are we? Um, yes, we're going to need a starting point. So what I'll do is I'll just move that one out of the way a little bit. 
and we will open this raster. Okay, we'll click raster. The base map is going to be the topo map. Okay, and then you have to tell it on the map display to draw. Display active layers, yeah. So if we want to zoom in now, we will zoom in And if we want to see how long it's going to take to walk from one point to another point, we should probably pick some populated places. So we will open up a vector layer. Okay. And then we will choose, um, well, how about we'll go with airports walk between airports. Redraw all layers. This here button a lot it fills a display window. Otherwise it'll only display the um, amount that you select. So if we want to know how long it's going to take to walk from here to here, if we want to do a cost surface map, we'll select this point. Um, and you'll see that when we've gotten the info about it, we've we should have the coordinates. Okay, so. When we go back into our r.walk, what we're going to do is, we'll put in the name of the raster map, is the walk cost surface. Starting point east is negative 15854100.4. Is it east in north thing four five one four eight seven two point three six five one five Okay, we're also going to do this point up here. We'll just do just past it. <coughs> 